Good morning children. In the previous video, we have discussed the topic conjunctions, why we use conjunction, identifying the conjunction and different types of conjunction. Now, we will continue with the same topic and in this video, we will discuss coordinating conjunction in detail. Now, open your grammar magic book, chapter conjunctions. By the end of this video, you will be able to understand what is coordinating conjunction? Learn the seven words that make a fan voice and how to use coordinating conjunctions properly. Children, before beginning with today's topic, we'll have a quick review of what we have done in the previous video. So tell me what are conjunctions? Conjunctions are joining words. Now observe the following examples. Number one, Anil and Atul. Number two, of the people and for the people. In the first example, conjunction and is joining two words Anil and Atul. And in the second example, conjunction and is joining two phrases of the people and for the people. So we can say a conjunction is a word that joins together words, phrases, clauses or sentences. Children, we have also discussed what are the different types of conjunction in which number one is coordinating conjunction, number two subordinating conjunction and number three is correlative conjunction. Now in this video we will discuss coordinating conjunction in detail. Children, a coordinating conjunction is one that joins together two words, groups of words or sentences which have equal importance. Now the point is, what do you mean by equal importance? For example, Rohan is honest, but Rahul is dishonest. In this, there are two separate sentences. One is Rohan is honest and another one is Rahul is dishonest. See, Rohan is honest, it is an independent sentence. It has its own subject and predicate. And on the other hand, Rahul is dishonest. It is also an independent sentence. It has also its own subject and predicate. We have joined these two sentences with the help of conjunction. But in the same way, Anu is good at singing and dancing. Here also, we have joined two words with the help of conjunction and. So what are coordinating conjunctions? A coordinating conjunction is one that joins together two words, groups of words or sentences which have equal importance. Children, remember some important points that are a comma is used along with coordinating conjunction to connect two independent sentences. And it is also very important to note that a comma is never placed after coordinating conjunction. It is placed before coordinating conjunction. For example, we have to leave now, comma, or it will get late. Here we have place comma before the coordinating conjunction or. Children, now we will discuss different coordinating conjunctions. There are seven coordinating conjunctions and very easy trick to memorize these conjunctions is to learn the word fanboys. Once you learn this word, you can easily learn all the coordinating conjunctions. Children, now look at this picture. Here F stands for for, A stands for and, N stands for nor, B stands for but, O stands for or, Y stands for yet, and S stands for so. These all are the coordinating conjunctions. So which are different coordinating conjunctions? For, and, nor, but, or, yet, so, now we will discuss all these conjunctions in detail with examples. First coordinating conjunction is for. Why we use for? Conjunction for is used to show reason or purpose. For example, I go to the library for I love to read. Children, here I have used the conjunction for to show the reason that why I want to go to the library. Next coordinating conjunction is AND. AND is used to show addition. 
For example, I like to eat cookies and I like to drink milk. In the first sentence, we have used and to connect two ideas of eating cookies and drinking milk. In the next sentence, we have used and to join two words mayonnaise and mustard. Next coordinating conjunction is nor. Nor is used to show any negative idea or it adds more negativity to the sentence. For example, I can't whistle nor can I sing. In this sentence, the conjunction nor is showing more negativity. Next coordinating conjunction is but. But is used to show a contrasting idea or we can say any opposite idea. Ideas that contradict each other or create a certain tension. For example, Sheila likes soup but sometimes she orders something different. Here two statements that Sheila likes soup and she orders something different are contradicting each other. In the same way, next example is the dress was beautiful but slightly expensive. Children, here we want to say no doubt dress is beautiful but the opposite condition is that it is expensive. Our next conjunction is or. Or is used for choice or alternative. For example, he could go to the bar or he could go to work. There is an option to go to the bar or to go to work. So we have used the conjunction or to show this option. Next coordinating conjunction is yet. Yet is also used to show contrast or an opposite idea. For example, he had been crying all day, yet the man made him laugh. So here, yet has been used to show the contrast between crying and laughing. Our next coordinating conjunction is so. So is used to show effect, result or consequences. For example, the lady was feeling ill, so she went home to bed. Here we want to say, the lady went home because he was feeling ill. And for this, we have used the conjunction so. Children, we have studied all the coordinating conjunctions. Now, we will solve an exercise related to this. Children, now read this exercise. Join these sentences with coordinating conjunctions. In which number one is, we wanted to go out to play, it was raining. Here two sentences are there, so we have to join it with the coordinating conjunction. So here, contrast is there, so we will fill the conjunction, but. We wanted to go out to play, but it was raining. Children, here you have to remember, you have to put comma before the conjunction. And after conjunction, first letter small. Here it, I, small. We wanted to go out to play, but it was raining. Number two is, Anu had studied hard all day. Her mother allowed her to go out to play. Here again two sentences, we have to join them with the conjunction. So here reason is there. So we will fill the conjunction. So, Anu had studied hard all day, so her mother allowed her to go out to play. Here we have used so to join these two sentences. Three is, elephants are mammals, they do not lay eggs. Here, reason is there, so we will join it with so. Elephants are mammals, so they do not lay eggs. Number four, he was tired, he was hungry. Here addition is there, so we will join it with and. He was tired and hungry. Number five, Sam drank water, he was thirsty. Here again reason is there, so we will join it with four. Sam drank water, four, he was thirsty. Children, now we will discuss one more exercise. In this, we have to fill the blanks with coordinating conjunctions. Number one is, it is cold dash windy today. Here addition is there, so and. It is cold and windy today. Number two, 
I studied hard. Dash, I passed the test. Here reason is there. So we have used so. I studied hard. So I passed the test. Number three. I ran fast. Dash, I came in last. Here two opposite condition are there. So we have filled. Yet, I ran fast. Yet, I came in last. Number four. I take milk. Dash sugar in my tea. Here again addition is there. So and. I take milk and sugar in my tea. Number five. Sara doesn't like apples. Dash does she like pears. Here two negative ideas are there. So we have filled nor. Sara doesn't like apples. Nor does she like pears. Number six. Ajay studied hard. Dash he could not. Clear the exam. Here contrast is there. So we have filled but. Ajay studied hard but he could not clear the exam. Children, today in this video we have learned coordinating conjunctions. A coordinating conjunction is one that joins together two words, groups of words or sentences which have equal importance. For example, Rohan is honest but Rahul is this one is we have joined two independent sentences with the help of conjunction but children here you have to remember a comma is used along with coordinating conjunction to connect two independent clauses and it should come before the coordinating conjunction children we have also learned seven coordinating conjunctions which are those that are for and nor but or yet so and what is the easy way to remember these seven coordinating conjunctions that is to learn the word fanboys children i hope today's topic is clear to you now follow the snap homework schedule and do the related exercises in the next video we'll discuss correlative conjunction thank you and have a nice day